Hi, this is Bastian and it's time for another live game. This time against an uh, engine called Heracles, which is rated about uh, 2000 ELO. So I'm going to start out with uh, the English, which is uh, definitely not my preferred systems. So there are um, two systems that I don't like uh, to play, that's uh, the English uh, um, or any uh, sort of King's Indian attack. So um, we're seeing e5, so I'm going to do the classical development with knight to c3. Knight is protected by pawn advances. Knight to f6. Knight to f3. Knight to uh, c6, so we're seeing the four knight English. So now I'm going to break through with d4. Um, black grabs the pawn, so we're seeing the generic of variation. This continuation is knight takes pawn. And knight recaptures. Now, if black were to follow the generic of variation, he would have played bishop to b4. Um, bishop to uh, bishop to b4. Now, knight takes d uh, d4 is actually uh, a bad move because now the queen can recapture, and we have a nice and centralized queen that cannot be chased away easily. Bishop to e7. Um, now this knight can no longer move because otherwise queen takes a uh, pawn on g7. Black wants to castle, so he wants to move the bishop. But if he moves bishop to um, d6, uh, we can see he's blocking his own pawn. So um, bishop to e7 is a defensive move, um, blocking, um, protecting his own knight. So probably black is going to castle um, the next move. Now, I think I can just play g4. We notice that the pawn is protected by the queen. Not that it matters, I can take on the pawn on g4, um, if he does. So we're seeing um, black castling, g5, to kick the knight away even further. Now, the knight probably has to retreat, because again the queen is controlling the fourth rank. And after knight to um, h5, he will surely become trapped. So a retreating move by black, knight to um, e8. Now this pawn is under attack, of course, so h4 uh, to protect. b6, black is shredded to Fian Chateau. So I'm going to play bishop to g2 to prevent black from Fian Chateauing. Rook to b8. Now, if bishop to b7, because that square is now covered, I can grab the bishop and rook recaptures. And essentially, black will have lost the move because his rook is useless on uh, b7, really. So now let's see how we can uh, continue the attack. I'm going to um, develop my bishop and castle uh, queenside and get my second rook in for the pawn storm. a5, win the castle queen side. Now we're seeing black doing a pawn storm as well, but mine will be much quicker at this point. Bishop to c4, I'm going to play queen to d3. This targets uh, the weak square on h7. We notice that black only has one defender, whereas the other two pawns in the pawn shield are covered twice. Black grabs the pawn, that was unprotected e3, blocks in uh, the bishop. h6, rook to f1 to um, capture the bishop. b6, 
bishop takes h4 and I recapture so two pawns for, two pawns for a piece but now the rook is on a half open file and I can play rook to h1 later on in the game seeing bishop to b7 so I'm going to take black is wasting a move now rook to h1 so if we have created a nice battery there are three uh, pieces targeting the pawn on h6 that's the pawn the bishop the rook and basically the other rook as well so four pieces and queen to h7 will be a, a checkmate so you're seeing black playing a4 now i can just crash through pawn on rook so i'm going to um, try with the rook Pawn takes is probably okay as well. Pawn takes rook recaptures. So we are threatening mate on uh, h7. Pawn to f5 to block the diagonal. I grab on passant. Still threatening uh, the mate. Um, rook to um, f6 let's see queen to h7 queen to h8 Rook h7. Not many places to go to. Uh, we're seeing black sacrificing the queen to prevent the mate. Rook takes. So uh, I can still grab the queen, but um, stronger is going for the mate with um, queen to e5. Black um, sacrifices his rook, but the pawn can uh, fulfill the same function. Queen to e5 is a checkmate, and that's the end of the game. So, I hope you enjoyed watching this um, small demonstration uh, with the English and that it gave you some ideas. Um, thanks for watching. Please leave a, a comment and have a great evening.